Well, hi there. My name is Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I am celebrating Red Nose Day 2016. This is a day to raise funds and awareness for charities that benefit children by doing something silly, and I will have more ideas for you later in this video on how you can participate. But I am wearing my red nose while I'm doing the artwork. I decided not to wear it while doing the voiceover because I sounded really funny and I thought that might get a little bit annoying after a while. So I'm going to use some Arches watercolor paper. I'm using the rough grain because that's the one I like. Most people like the regular cold press. And I made my line inside the mat that I'm going to have. So I have a white outline around it. I took a well, just a simple roll of tape and made a couple of planets and now I've got my stamps ready to go. These are from my favorite things called Out of This World. And I'm going to stamp them with some Versafine ink because I'm using a water-based medium. So you want to make sure whatever medium you're using is compatible with the paper and the ink that you have chosen. I'll be using my Zig Clean Color markers because I wanted a really bright and intense kind of a picture. So I'm stamping my rocket ships and stars and everything randomly all over this. I did put planets in here so that the ones with wheels and standing with little feet had somewhere to stand. And now I'm going to just go over all of my pencil lines with a Sharpie, which is waterproof. I'm using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers because they have very intense colors. And they do blend without water, at least most of them do, some of them don't. But what I like to do is color the dark color, leave a space for the light, fill that in, and then do the blending. If you go straight from trying to push that dark color into the light area, you're probably going to contaminate enough of that light color that you won't have any highlight left. So you'll see that a little bit more clearly here. I'm leaving that nice white highlight area, fill it in with the light color, and then go around the edge. And that will soften it without losing all of that area where the, the light color is. These zig markers work also with water, so if you want to use a brush and move the color around, you can do that. I find it a little more challenging to do that, so most of the time I like to just mix the two marker or the two markers, three markers, whatever I'm blending, right on the paper. And some, some folks find that a smoother paper works better. I am struggling a little bit with these because some of my markers are drying out, so I'm just kind of fighting them to get into the texture of the paper, but I love a good textured paper. So that is why I choose to use this. The little rocket boosters, I wanted to have bright flames coming out from them because I'm going to have a very dark sky. And I realized that I didn't want that much yellow going out the, the back end. So I started covering up some of that with orange and then red, and now this kind of reddish purple and that's going to allow it to look like it's slowly burning off into the sky. And there will be a, a darker blue, bluish purple as well. So just kind of going through the rainbow to work up some colors that are going to look like these flames are fading. But that bright pop of yellow against all this navy blue of the sky is gonna look fantastic. So I was pretty excited with that. That's one of the things about these clean color markers. They're not my favorite pens, but when I'm looking for something with really intense color like this, these are the perfect choice. And that's what I wanted for this because it's for children. And I'm going to be selling this piece, auctioning it off to one of you lucky folks out there on the interwebs. You can go to my blog and join in the auction and potentially get this piece mailed to you. So there's lots of details over there. So I'm taking a pinkish purple and Kind of extending some of those areas and just getting some general blending going so that it starts really looking like flame and you can even tell as i'm coloring that as i get to an empty area the pink marker becomes more pure little by little so the the more you scribble that off and, and use the marker then all of that color that it picked up starts to disappear now throughout the rest of this, I did something I didn't do on that first star, which is to leave a little white space around it, and then I'm gonna color in with a lighter blue around each of the objects, because I wanted the objects to look like they're glowing. And if I blend them using one of the lighter colors, it's gonna give them just a slight glow. And the slight glow is enough to just add a little spark of something to it. So that is what I will be doing through the rest of it. And that does mean managing wiping off the marker and that sort of thing as I go. But I'm going to 
stop talking about this and start talking a little bit about Red Nose Day because I have some ideas if you are interested in doing something for Red Nose Day. If you love kids, you love kids charities, you could do something, you know, like I guess you'd probably have to plan it a little more if you were going to do something like a car wash today to raise money. That might be a little difficult to do given that today is the day. You haven't had advanced warning potentially, but you could do something really simple. Go to the office today and offer to go out and make a Starbucks run for everybody and ask them to add a dollar or two onto whatever they purchase from Starbucks and you'll donate all that money as a group to one of the children's charities. You could choose from one of the charities that's listed at rednose.org. You can make your contribution to them and then they're divvying up the money among the charities. Or you could just make the donation directly yourself to that charity. So pick one that you like, whether it's on their list or not, and make a donation. I can tell you from personal experience, having run a charity, that every donation makes a difference. Don't feel like just donating a dollar or two is not enough. Don't feel like you have to make a giant donation of a whole lot of money to make an impact on people's lives because when your dollar is added to somebody else's dollar and is added to somebody else's dollar, it can all make a huge difference. And if you get together with friends at work or at church or you get your kids to do something when everybody gets home from school, whatever it is that you do, you can make an impact by just sharing that with somebody else. And right now the focus is on kids charities because of Red Nose Day, but if you have other charities that move your heart, then I encourage you to just give generously as much as you're able to do and encourage other people to do it with you. Get creative. There are a lot of charities that have websites where you can set up a fundraising page and then you can share that on Facebook and get all your friends to donate to support whatever it is you care about because it is proven that people who donate donate one because they care about the cause but another and this is something I do all the time I donate when somebody who I know and I trust and I care about cares about that charity every year a cousin of mine does a bike ride for MS and I haven't been personally touched with MS as as an individual I don't have that as a passion but my cousin has it as a passion and he has every year so I give to that charity every single year in support of him. So if there's something that you're passionate about, don't feel shy about asking because your friends and your family and other people that you know might well be waiting for somebody to endorse a charity that they will give to. And you could be the person who starts that little spark going. And I've also been excited as I've been sharing my giveaways on my blog, I've turned them into fundraisers. I ask you guys to tell me what charities you want me to give to, and I can't tell you how much it blesses me to give to the charities that you all care about, because now I know someone who is impacted by that charity and who cares about that issue, and it means more to, to me to give that way. And after adding white gel pen details in the sky, this is all finished and ready for auction. If you'd like to enter the bidding to win this particular piece, you're welcome to go over to my blog. There's a widget there where you can enter your bid. All your monies will go to charity and shipping is free for the winner of the auction. Thank you so much. Please be generous to those kids out there. They need all of us. They need our help. There are a couple more clean color pen videos if you'd like to see more on the product. There's also a subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me because I put out about three videos a week with different mediums, usually making cards, but often making crazy things like aliens and rocket ships. Alrighty, I will see you guys over on the blog. Thank you so much. Have a great Red Nose Day. Bye-bye.